So this is about generating electricity from non-renewable fuels. That means fuels that are going to run out. Um, we're going to look at fossil fuels first. That's coal, oil and natural gas. Now, the advantages. The advantages are that they produce cheap electricity. Cheap electricity and that a power station which is running on coal can run at any time of the day. Um, it doesn't, and also doesn't depend on the weather. Um, now the disadvantages, well, primarily when we burn fossil fuels, uh, they produce carbon dioxide, which as we know can cause climate change. So uh, they release carbon dioxide. Quite a lot of um, fossil fuels contain small amounts of sulphur, so they produce sulphur dioxide, which can cause acid rain and that's a disadvantage too. And of course, another key disadvantage is that they all will run out. Although coal will probably last the longest, but eventually all fossil fuels will run out. Right, nuclear energy is also non-renewable. Um, let's look at the advantages and then the disadvantages. The advantages. Um, it produces cheap electricity too, and again, it doesn't depend on the weather. It can run at all times of the day, a nuclear power plant can. Um, uranium is a fuel for a nuclear reactor, um, and it will run out, but probably not for a long time, at least 250 years. Um, and in addition, it doesn't burn fossil fuels, we're not talking about fossil fuels here, so it doesn't produce any carbon dioxide, so it doesn't affect climate change at all. However, there are some disadvantages. Um, because you're using radioactive material, um, that means that the plant is radioactive for a long, long, long time after it finishes its normal use, and there is a high cost to decommission it, to dismantle it. In addition, Although there's, um, it's tightly regulated now, if there is an accident, the consequences could be very severe. And in 1986, there was a fire at a nuclear reactor in the Ukraine, in a town called Chernobyl, and that caused many deaths across Europe. 